Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. Today I am just coming on to do a flip through of a um, journal that I have just completed. Uh, this journal has a garden nature feel to it. Um, it's taken me a long time to complete this one. It's one that I have been doing in between all my other projects, challenge projects and design team projects and Etsy stock projects. So. It's taken a while to complete, but um, now that it is completed, I am really, really happy with it, and um, I'm struggling a bit as to whether I'm going to keep it for myself or list it for sale. Um, it's a big one. It's all one signature. I don't tend to do more than one signature. I just jam a lot of things into my journals, and that's why a lot of them always have the big gator mouth and so forth. But this one, I've made a soft cover, and I've done like a wrap around here. Um, so it contains it all really nicely within the journal. It's very, very shabby grunge, this one. I've got lots and lots of laces and fibre. Um, all the pages are coffee dyed. Um, the front cover, I have made, um, as I said, a soft cover. The, the signature's been sewn in with a three-hole pamphlet stitch, but I have um, hidden that by uh, covering over the spine after I've sewn it in. And I've just used a scrapbooking paper for my um, covers at the back, machine stitched and distressed inked. And I've finished the journal with this um, broidery, on, broidery on glaze coffee, coffee stain material. Just love this stuff. It reminds me of being a kid. <laughs> um, my focal piece on the front of the journal um, is an altered envelope. It was a business type envelope. And... Um, I have used the digital kit from the lovely Kylie at Paper Daisy Journals. This is one of her latest releases, um, and it's called the Nature Junk Journal Kit. I will link it below. Uh, Kylie has done a beautiful job with these. All of Kylie's digitals are lovely, but this one especially speaks to me because it's very vintage. It's collage of, of all types of florals and, and uh, butterflies, there's like French ephemera, there's lots of text and texture within the digital. so I have taken advantage of that throughout my book. Um, yeah, so I've just, I have made um, the business envelope, it's got the window pocket in it, so in that I just, um, this is one of the ephemera pieces that you get with Kylie's kit, really lovely stuff, so yeah, I put that one in there. And I've just done some embellishing with some vintage buttons. I've done a, a, a fabric and lace cluster here and just done a cluster of buttons and, and a little metal heart on a bulb pin. And the background that is a um, just an invoice, or a very old, I've cut the date off so I can't quote the date. But yeah, like ledger paper that I found on the public domain. Uh, when we open up the journal, the journal's a big one. She, she measures... She measures 10, nearly 10 and a half inches, which is about 26 centimetres uh, in length. And this is going to be a guesstimate, really, because it's like this, but about 20, about 21 centimetres wide. So it's a really nice, solid book. Feels nice in your hand. Um, the inside, the, I've lined the inside covers with this pretty paper. This, again, is a digital from Fiona Collie at Lavender Blue. This is her cherry blossom kit and I loved that because it was floral to begin with so it matched in with the the theme of the book but it just looks very vintage wallpaper to me so I love that. Um, when I was putting the signature together I've, I've chosen a lot of different styles of book pages and coffee dyed paper and obviously you know the things that we do but I chose not to shorten the lengths of any of the pages. So this, to me, is a real, real shabby junk journal because everything's mismatched and different. So, yeah. Um, this page here came from a um, garden diary book that I found at the Brisbane Book Fest um, beginning of last year, I think it was now. And it's uh, in the 1997. So I've the beautiful pictures and it always has an explanation of, of what plant is featured and I've even kept the lady who owned it prior to me finding it at the book fest she's written in some of the um, in diary entries so I've left them because I thought that that looked really sweet she's got beautiful handwriting um, yeah so the double pages and they're, they're glossy and they're just they're a large page but yeah I think they're beautiful plenty of journaling space there 
Uh, then we go on, I've just made lots of pockets throughout this journal um, and I've used a lot of vintage lace and a lot of lace clusters and, and layerings of lace throughout. Um, this is just again a layering of Tim Holtz cards and some odd tickets and, and um, ephemera that I've got. But this one here again is another piece of ephemera from Kylie's Nature Kit. Um, yeah, I've, I've covered it over but it's just like cherry blossoms, it's beautiful. And then in that pocket I've just slipped a tag from um, Fiona Collie at Lavender Blue, her um, Pink Floral Dreams kit. So, And being pink roses I thought it suited the journal nicely. I have left a good amount of journaling space throughout and I have used a variety of papers lined and grid and you know music paper and all that type of thing. And I have done a little bit of hand stamping throughout just to kind of tie all the botanical theme through. Um, I've inserted a coffee stained glassine bag just for some extra storage in there. And this, this piece of music paper is especially special to me. Um, this is an actual, this is an original page of a um, music book dated nine, on the 10th month 72 that my sister and I, this was our book when we were learning to play the piano. So I would have been five then and she was seven and a half. So this is especially special to me this piece of paper right here because I remember learning to play this, these these songs um, this page here uh, this is another digital that I've just started working with this is one of Deborah Ricks over at string and scissors this is her beautiful kit that she's simply named kit number 15 um, and it very much speaks to me because it's very vintage um, ephemera and journaling pages, very vintage inspired and I have printed them out onto coffee stained paper so that's given it even a, a deeper grunge again but they're beautiful papers, thank you Deborah. they're really really lovely if you're watching uh, yeah so you'll, I'll feature some of those throughout the journal this page here was just such a bright pretty daffodil um, I found a colouring book actually at um, Australia Post and the, the images in it are so striking and they just kind of reminded me a little bit of Edith Holden so I really wanted to include some of those page uh, pictures throughout the journal. Again we've got another one of the gardening journal pages there with beautiful, it's glossy and it's such beautiful colours of the, the different plants that they depict. This one here is another page from Deborah's kit over at String and Scissors. This is a beautiful page. I have printed it onto graph paper so you can see the graph lines throughout the background. Um, but yeah, very, very vintage. There's text and there's foliage and postcards and number, postcard stamp and, a num and numbers. Bingo here. I, I just love it. It's, it's a beautiful kit, this one. Um, then we've just got um, a book page from a gardening book, the, it's a Reader's Digest one, um, so yeah I've scattered those throughout. Again just a pocket, um, this is a tuck spot here and this, this uh, tag is part of Kylie's kit, her nature junk journal kit. And it's just so clean, it's beautiful. Um, I love that Kylie, her signature is daisies, hence the name, Paper Daisy Journals. But she's incorporated like the butterflies and then it, yeah, there's text and an old label up the top there. And I've just um, put a fabric ruffle, I have like this chiffon fabric, it's beautiful. So a fabric ruffle and a little button and then I've just put a tie, but that is attached to the page as a tuck. And then I've just um, included in there just a couple of pages from um, gardening books that I have here. I always find they're great ephemera. You can make them into tags or pockets or envelopes or, you know, just keep them as interesting reading. So I've included a fair bit amount of those throughout the journal. Uh, again, another book page about the garden, some plain coffee dyed papers. This one here is um, an altered paper bag. Um, I do have a t tutorial on that in my videos but um, I've just decorated it with the Edith Holden and um, I have included in the pockets this is um, one of the beautiful bird tags from Valia Craft Studios Birdsong Digital Kit Valerie so I've just teamed up that up with a little ticket that I've stamped to B and I've got this clock face and just a bulb pin with a little crystal on it so yeah they are really sweet so I thought I'd just let that one live in there 
and from that same kit, the bird song, this is one of the little envelope ephemera pieces that Valerie has put into hers. It's just a little envelope, it's beautiful. And the two little journaling cards that go that actually will fit inside the envelope. So I've just popped those there. And then these two pieces here are more of the ephemera from Kylie's kit, the Nature Junk Journal kit. So very, very vintage, very pretty stuff. So I thought that someone could get some benefit from those. So I've just attached those with a gold a paper clip and I'm just going to slip those in some of that front pocket. This here is another page from Deborah's kit um, over at String and Scissors, kit number 15. It's just so beautiful. It's a gorgeous blue, you know, it looks like a blue daisy. I, I'm not sure that it, there is such a thing, but the, the flower looks like a daisy to me. But I just love these vintage numbers that... You know, I, I'm all about numbers. I, I tend to use a lot of numbers in my um, creations, so love that page. Uh, another glossy page from that um, garden diary. This one here, I've made the diagonal side pocket, and I've just laid up some Tim Holtz. I've made the pocket with a um, a book page that talks about the garden and different plants, and just laid up. I like this green card because it matched in, and this. Here was an image that I fussy cut from that colouring book that I had bought. So it's just such bright yellow, it's beautiful. And in that pocket I've just, um, I've used, I've taken benefit from two of the kits that I'm using at the moment and sort of made a feature out of both tags really. This is uh, again from Kylie's, the junk journal, the nature junk journal kit. Um, and it's one of the larger ones. Um, yeah, isn't that just so pretty? You know, it's got stamps and a little little home of some description would be a farmhouse or something again there's that special daisy and I love this 55 cents I think that's just gorgeous but I've attached to Kylie's tag um, one of Valerie's tags from the Birdsong digital collection so the colorings just to me worked in really well and look at that there's a daisy so so yeah daisies and daisies so yeah I really loved that so I thought that could live inside that little pocket there uh, again just some plain paper and I've just done a little bit of hand stamping on that one there just to tie in this big big maple leaf uh, book page and I've just attached a, a little bit of um, a snippet roll there was a challenge going over at Nat's Nat Williams paper possibilities crazy crafters Facebook group oh that's a mouthful uh, where we had to create snippet rolls so um, I created my snippet roll bundle and now I'm using it up in some of my projects. So to that I've just attached a little metal key with the bulb pin in there. And just some hand dyed um, coloured paper that I've been playing with. Um, isn't that a beautiful page, the, the daisies again. So this might be a journal for you Kylie <laughs> with all the daisies in it. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, again over at Nat's Facebook group, we, there was a challenge run, um, how to use tea bags. So I just simply, uh, you know, did my tea bags, dried them out, emptied the leaves, re sewed them back together and stamped an image on there. And I just put a bit of doily behind. So that is um, that little embellishment. And then, yeah, there's just some plain paper again, a book page. Um, depicting different types of plants from the garden and I've just fussy cut out this ivy stem and give it a bit of distress ink just to put some interest on that page. Again this is another um, page from the kit from Kylie at Paper Daisy, Paper Daisy Journals and again I have printed that onto coffee stained graph paper um, but yeah it's just beautiful there's birds and the daisies again and sunflowers yeah lovely and then I've just attached a fabric layered ruffle there some netting lace and some of this beautiful fabric cotton fabric with the big purple I think they're roses when it's all scratched up like that it's hard to tell ah some more dye hand dyed paper again another altered paper bag and again I featured, featured Kylie's kit um and inside of that one, I have put um, one of the one of the smaller tags from Kylie's Nature Journal kit, and then I have just hand stamped that big maple leaf again onto just another another tag. So they live nicely in there. 
and then just as for, to create some more interest, I've taken some of the ephemera from Deborah's kit, the kit number 15, and just laid it up. That is stuck there, but it just makes it look like there's a little little letter poking out of there. And that one there is just another stamp, a little uh, label, sorry, from um, Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals. So we've got some more plain paper again. I've done a, um, a full page um, side pocket with featuring Edith Holden and I've just um, put into this one just assorted book pages depicting the garden again um, oh, it's too stuck together there so yeah just some reading or you could you know do something with them make ephemera they could be great specimen cards anything like that you could make and I've included this pretty um, postcard that was um, I did a swap with Carol McCann at, on Nat's page on Facebook where we all swapped postcards. So I love this one because it was floral and I just thought it went with the theme. And that's the back of it. So yeah, I popped that one in there and just attach those again with a gold paper clip. And they can just live in there really nicely. Um, a pocket that I created, I just tore different bits of paper and stuck them all together and did some machine stitching and stuff. And into that pocket I just put an Edith Holden tag. I just back that onto some um, hand dyed paper. So that one lives up in there. Uh, again some more plain paper, but my centre page again is one of Kylie's. I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. This is another page from Kylie's kit and I, un I, th I believe that Kylie picks these, like maiden, this is maiden fern or maiden hair, I believe that she picks these from her garden and then she presses them and then she makes her collages and, and does these beautiful digitals, so really, really pretty, really, yeah, really lovely stuff. Um, some more plain paper. This again was part of a challenge at Nat's um, Paper Possibilities. Um, thanks Nat, you've really helped to fill this journal up with all the challenges, it's been great. Um, so yeah, I've just done a, a, um, a nice big layering there of, of laces and cotton fabric and there's some tulle, uh, tulle there, yeah, really pretty. And then I've just done your um, music paper and again, this is a, um, um, a label from um, Deborah Ricks, The String and Scissors. This is part of her ephemera kit, kit number 15. And then in the pocket here, I've just put another one of these floral tags, um, the pink floral dreams from Lavender Blue from Fiona. So, and then you can see that through the pocket, the window in the envelope there. Plain paper, it's just a little watering can, uh, just a little um, clip art piece that I found on um, the graphics fairy, I think it was, or the public domain, I can't really remember which one, but one of the two. Some more hand dyed paper, plain paper, and now this is another side of another page from um, Kylie's kit. Uh, yeah, again, we've got the daisies, the butterflies. I, I, I don't know whether that's French or not, but it's certainly not English. So, yeah, just beautiful. Uh, book page, and then I've just done, used a Tim Holtz layering card and a uh, nice uh, floral sticker there. Did a little bit of a um, button and, and fabric embellishment on that one. And then I've included another tag from um, the Lavender Blue Pink Floral Dreams kit. And then another beautiful postcard from Carol McCann. And again, it's got the beautiful pink roses. Um, and the lovely postcard back. So yeah, I just thought I'd just put that one into that pocket there. <sighs> More plain paper. This one here, this this is a current challenge. I've actually got to take a photo and put it up on the group. This is a current challenge over at Nat's um, Paper Possibilities Facebook page at the moment. We had to do a Rita Donnelly flip. Now I have never seen a Rita Donnelly flip. I tried to research Rita Donnelly today on YouTube, but I couldn't, I didn't have any luck. So I've just taken bits and pieces from different videos of people that are doing their take on a Rita Donnelly flip. So let's hope I've got it right. Um, so the Rita Donnelly flip is apparently a pocket that turns into a flip. So there you go. I've used um, the Simply Red digital, a page from the Simply Red digital kit from Lavender Blue. 
I've just done a number on here, which is a Tracy Fox number. I have used a little um, embellished paper clip with some beads and put some tickets in behind that. And then I flipped it up and I've just coffee stained and stamped with um, a daisy stamp that I have. I think that's a Stampin' Up one. And just put the word abide and then that way you've got a lot of journaling space. But then I just thought I'd go one step further and do a, a second flip so that you could, you know, put a little bit more journaling, secret notes and whatever in there. And then um, as it's a pocket, I again took the, the same page from the Simply Red and just made a nice tag with that one. So there we go. I've got to take a photo of that and like, upload, um, put it up on, on that page, which hopefully I'll get done tomorrow. Another page from the um, another page from the diary, another side tuck pocket, uh, which again contains some more book page and another beautiful little envelope um, and journaling card from um, the bird song from Valia Craft Studio. So I just thought they looked really nicely popped together in there. Another book page. And here we've got just a little embellishment, page embellishment that I've been doing, just a fabric dangle, bundle, cluster. Yeah, so just some different laces and all sewn onto a doily with a button and a bob pin. But I've just um, attached that onto the page with a paper clip so you can actually remove that should you want to. Uh, another layering card tuck pocket thingy with some lace. And in that one again, I'll just put another um, Edith Holden tag in there. Another page from the diary, some more coffee stain. Oh, this is another page from Deborah Ricks's uh, kit number 15, the other side with the beautiful blue flowers on. And again, I had, um, no, actually, I think, no, it comes on the graph paper. So that that's beautiful. Another top tuck pocket with another little lace dangle and a, and a dragonfly with a bulb pin. And again, onto this one, I've just put an Edith Holden tag in there. And this paper line there, I think it's called just Botanicals. It's another lavender blue digital as well. Um, some more book page. Another beautiful bird, an owl bird tag from um, Valia Crafts Bird Song. And this one here, I love, love, love this. This is one of Fiona Colley's on her Facebook group, the Lavender Blue group, where she does Freebie Fridays every week. And this was um, free... Uh, to download for members of the group it was an envelope now I think this is supposed to be a liner for the envelope but I just thought it was so beautiful that I've kept it as an extra journaling space so I just think that patterning and the colour is so very pretty it's floral but you could easily use it in a boho journal it's just gorgeous piece of book page another part of um, Deborah Ricks's uh, kit number 15 it's starting to get a bit <laughs> disappearing now on this side um, yeah a golden pair and postcard and again you've got some bingo cards there it's just lovely it's a beautiful kit Deborah and then we've got journal page another um, image cut from that coloring book these are snapdragons my grandmother used to grow snapdragons plain paper another page from Deborah's um, kit kit number 15 string and scissors just gorgeous very very pretty that piece of music paper from my sister and myself. The other side of the glassing paper bag that I've coffee stained. And again, one uh, of the smaller tags from Kylie, um, Paper Days of Journeys, which journals, which I've just put some, you know, fabric lace and a button and stuff like that on there. That is attached with a bulb pin. No, it is not. It's attached with an eyelet, but it does move. So that's that one. Plain paper and the last page is a piece of that um, garden diary. So there you go, that is the latest journal that I have made. Um, I hope you enjoyed the flip through. I ha haven't got it up onto Etsy yet, but I plan to get it up there. I've just got to take some photos and then, uh, yeah, hopefully she'll be up there tomorrow if I don't decide to keep it for myself. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, for joining me again tonight. I uh, hope everyone is well and finding some time for crafting and keeping warm. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot. Uh, take care and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.